Hello and good afternoon. I am Mr. Chaos, the Cunning Wolf. And today I'm going to be reacting to MLP uh, Season 7, Episode 9, Honest Apple. So yes, uh, I know this episode came out earlier on Treehouse, but as you all know, I'm only reacting to like the official uh, US release date episode, so which is why I'm doing it on a Saturday right now. But yeah, um, Honest Apple, so when I think of the, when I think of the title Honest Apple, I think Applejack. But I don't know, I mean, pretty big possibility that this might be an Applejack episode, but yeah, I really have no ideas for what's going to be in this episode, like no theories or anything, so this is going to be a complete mystery, which it always should be. So, yeah, so, Honest Apple, I have nothing to think of it, so let's just see what it is. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Helping me with these flyers, Spike. I'm so lucky you just happened to be walking past the boutique. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Just happened to be walking past. <laughs> Typical rare Spike stuff. Wait until you hear who else will be a judge. Countess Corachura? Sassy Saddles? Spike? Will it be Countess? No. <laughs> the third judge for the Carousel Boutique's Couture du Futur Fashion Contest is none other than... What? what? <laughs> I was about what? to say that. What? What? Exactly what? My it's the pony, what trilogy. All three of us, or four of us, said what? Yeah, four. Me, Pinky, Rarity, and Spike. What? You already said that. <laughs> yeah, one more what? My closet's nothing but twenty versions of this hat. Which tells me you're a pony. Who knows what she likes? And I'm pretty sure they all look the same. Excuse me, have you ever heard of Applejack? The most honest pony there is? Sure have. See? That's not a bad voice for that pony. What fashion just ain't my bag of oats. Or you could have said bag of apples. You know what? I am going to help Rarity judge her show. I think my sensible every pony take fashion is exactly what the pony community needs. You sure that's a good idea? Photo finish. <laughs> and we get to see her again. Hey. It's wonderful to see you. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Thank you both so much for You didn't have to this. say what you were doing. Wow. Uh. That is just, wow. These are clothes. Suppose she's upside down. This is... <laughs> She looks like a disco ball. <laughs> did, did they have to roll her down the runway? <laughs> oh no! I can't believe it. Okay, I like this. Wear this. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh my! I faint. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I think Applejack's gonna hilariously screw this up. <laughs> I want to hear Applejack say what she thinks, what she honestly Did thinks about the know? next one, because it was funny. Today you will work on your designs, and we judges will offer our guidance and advice as you prepare for tomorrow's big show. <laughs> oh no. Lily Lace, tell us about your inspiration. Oh, Lily Lace? It's a nice name. You guys, this morning on my way here, I heard a bird singing literally the most beautiful song I'd ever heard. And I wanted to capture not so much the bird's song exactly, but more like how the wind carried the bird's song. Her voice is Hello, interesting. I am Inky Rose. What happened to your legs? You have a very focused mission. A strong sense of what you want. She's a bit like Maud because, you know, she says, you know, very little words at, a, at the what time. And she talks in such a flat tone. I honestly want to see her screw up at the big show. I, I think it's going to be funny. <laughs> I mean, not to them, but I don't know. For... Are you putting holes in the clothes on purpose? It's to create a distressed look. More like an old and tattered look. When a pony oh, old clothes get holes in them, they don't want to go to the store to buy new clothes with holes in them. <laughs> okay, yes, not a very practical choice. <laughs> That's Actually, actually a valid point, Applejack. <laughs> Thank goodness I signed on. Without me, they'd be doing all kinds of crazy fashiony things. <laughs> the thing is, it wasn't crazy fashiony things. It was just fashion talk you didn't understand. Good thing she's there, huh? Yes, of course. 
Uh, you're gonna hear a completely different story from Rarity. But hopefully her candor will help the designers achieve the best designs possible. You seem a little stressed. Wanna try? Music is very relaxing. Sure. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Much better. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Was she like letting all the stress out? Like that's how much stress she was having. She had to like release her stress through like heavy metal. I attach each brother individually. <laughs> it took me for literally ever. <laughs> okay, her voice still oh, interests me. <laughs> and I mean that in a freaked out way. Oh, they're perfect. Who cares if it's stitched perfectly? You don't need feathers on your head. Oh, oh yeah, Applejack! <laughs> And maybe that's one of the reasons why you and Rarity don't really get along the best. What? I was just being Wait. That's the same crying sound from uh an episode in season four. I think this is a, that was the same crying from Simple Ways. It's just that Rarity reached out to the wrong person, that's all. That was a really good point that Applejack made, and, and I, I I like it when they make points like these in the show, you know, about people having their own opinions. Applejack, I was wondering if you could tell her how you feel about apples. Don't like them. What? Why? They're crunchy, they're sweet, It's her opinion. They're not strawberries. But it's just her opinion. Apples are better than strawberries. If by better you mean better at being disgusting, you'd better apologize. Oh, I'm sorry, but you actually bite into those tasteless, mealy, worm filled things. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no. Applejack, why are you so angry? It's just Strawberry's honest opinion. What's wrong with that? Well, that's fine. If well, she hey, like says you, Rarity. I mean, Applejack, was, it was just perfect. Applejack's that's opinion as well. So mean about it. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel so good, does it? Nope. No, it does not at all. <sighs> but it's still your opinion, I'm so though. I'm so sorry, Rarity. I got so carried oh, away come on. being honest. Oh no! <laughs> I thought she was gonna be like threaded through her. Ugh. I thought it was gonna go through her face and she'd get hurt. Wait, we start now? So, so apparently, so apparently a photo finish has the ability to turn a sunset from nighttime instantly. You've made me so happy. <laughs> I totally messed that one up. It's ghastly, horrid, absolutely terrible. It looks, it, it looks like a combination of really bodily fluids. It's awful. Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that keeps going on in my head whenever I think of this episode now is <clears throat> Rarity really should have just reached out to somebody else to be a judge. I mean, come on. I mean, Applejack, seriously, and especially with all the things that Rarity and Applejack have gone through before. It's clear Applejack's not a fashion pony. Um, I mean, I, I knew that Rarity wanted to reach out to her because, you know, she was a friend and all and, you know, because of some other things. But, still, I mean, doesn't it seem like this could have been easily avoided? And, but I did like this uh, little lesson about opinions this episode had to say, though. Like, you know, opinions are good. Like, it's good to have an opinion about something. But, you know, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't say your opinion in, you know, like, an overly rude way. Like, yeah, it can be brutally honest if you want, but not up to a point where it, you know, makes the creator, whoever you're sharing an opinion with, makes them feel any less of themselves or anything. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like when I first uh, saw the scene where uh, Rarity took Applejack to see that other pony, you know, who obviously didn't like apples to show her, you know, the difference between an, an opinion that's, you know, just politely uttered and an opinion that's just downright rude. Like, she was just, like, she was just, you know, 
you know, like, you know what I mean? Like the, like that pony who was saying how much she didn't like apples. She didn't, she didn't just keep it brief. Like she's like, I just don't like apples. Like, I mean, I like my strawberries, but if you like apples, that's great. But no, uh, Applejack instead is like, uh, she's like, no, apples are better. And then, she, and then she just goes and, you know, bees even more rude. Well, not really rude. I mean, Applejack was just going on and on saying, hey, still apples are better. And she kind of fires back at him by saying, well, apples that are better are better at being gross. <laughs> eh. But, um, yeah, I kind of get it. Um, like, I like how this episode showed that. And in a sometimes comedic and funny way. I mean, when we think about it, you know, the way Applejack criticizes fashion sometimes, you know, by saying, uh, they're both the same, or how is that even close? <laughs> I just find it funny, to be honest, and, you know, I like how we got parts like that in an episode like this. When I really think about it, Pinky kind of felt like, uh... It honestly felt like Pinky was just trying to create a bit of a filler diversion. What I mean, what I mean by that is, it felt like there had to be moments in the episode where Pinky just had to, you know, break in and, you know, just you know, have, like, a little funny part, like, th that guitar part with Rarity was, I mean, kind of fun, I mean, it, I mean, it felt like the scene was really just that. Like, it doesn't really feel like Pinky really had much reason to even be in this episode to begin with. Like, maybe it was necessary for her to be in the episode, maybe in the beginning, you know, just so we got a good idea of what was going on, and, you know, for Pinky to... You know, be a bit of a context backup character, if you know what I mean. You know, we see uh, uh, Rarity and Spike, you know, the good old, the good old rarest Spike stuff or whatever. You know, we see uh, Rarity and Spike delivering some flyers and we would need another character who would say, Hey, what are you, what are you selling? What flyers are you selling? Like, to know what's going on before Rarity gets into the topic of saying, Oh, and by the way, Applejack is going to be helping me, helping me out with it by being a judge. So... Yeah, it may, yeah, yeah, it may have been necessary for Pinky to be there in the beginning. And also because, you know, she's an obvious, you know, comic relief character, so that would have made it even better. But, like, am I am I the only one who feels this? Come on, like, didn't Pinky feel like a bit of a filler sometimes in this episode? Because when I look back on it, it kind of does. <sighs> but, <laughs> yeah, as I was watching, you know, the way Applejack, you know, made, you know rude opinions and, you know, criticize the uh, fashion, because, you know, fashion is obviously not her thing, but it was just funny for her to see her be thrown into a situation like that, and I kept saying, I want to see more of this, and I want to see her do it at, like, the big show and, you know, humiliate everybody. I'm not saying, you know, I wish people are humiliated, but I just want to see Applejack say, like, are you kidding me? You know, fashion is ridiculous. <laughs> It was just funny to me for some reason. I just like some of the statements that Applejack made. Like, <laughs> like th there's no there's no point in having holes in your clothes and then and then going to the store just to get more clothing with more holes in them. <laughs> that was a hilariously valid point from Applejack. I mean, it was rude, but it was funny. <laughs> and that's what I like so much about this episode. You know, the occasional brutal comedy from Applejack. And I like that mix. I like I like that we got to see an episode where, you know, a character who is not into a certain thing is thrown into a situation where it involves that thing they're not really interested in, and then they just let it all out. They're honest, and sometimes it'll hurt them, but in a weird way, that's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you should know what I mean. Uh... And it, this felt like a really simple episode, like... Really, only half of the main six were involved in it. Pinky, Rarity, and Applejack, and, well, maybe Spike, but, um... Uh, we, we got to see Photo Finish again. She's a she's a highly liked character. Uh, Hoity Toity, um... And some new characters. Um... <laughs> this Inky Rose character... Isn't she really similar to Maud? I mean, come on. Like, she has that, you know, kind of dark, you know, um... Personality. Like, she talks in such a low voice. She's like... You know, this really speaks to me. And, yeah, you know, I think she had, like, blackish eyeshadow like a lot of goth uh, people do. Um, 
And, you know, she was just into dark stuff, you know, she was into, like, the gray or, you know, kind of dark clothing, which Applejack obviously said, come on, it looks pretty depressing. <laughs> obviously, that was pretty offensive towards her because, you know, she kind of liked darkness. I mean, that was her personality. And Lily Laces, her voice wasn't annoying to me personally, but it was a little weird. Like, it seemed, like, a little unfitting for a fashion person. Like, I'm pretty sure, you know, some girls with the, you know, voice of her will also be into fashion, but... Her voice sounded like a blend of craziness and also a little bit of laid-back kind of voice as well. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, you know, mainly the highlights. What I really liked about this episode was the lesson about opinions, and... You know, for a moment during the actual first reaction... I was a little confused, I'll admit. Like, when a Rarity took Applejack to see that other pony to teach her a lesson about, you know, the difference between a rude opinion and just a polite opinion, at first I was like, okay, why why is Applejack being blasted for this? I mean, it was her honest opinion, but then when I thought back about it, I'm like, yeah, yeah, hurt, hurting people with an, you know, overly rude opinion is not really the best thing to do, like... You know, the way to properly say an opinion is to say, I like this, or I don't like that, but if you don't like that, or if you like it, that's good. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you to go kill yourself because you like this. And, uh, and, yeah, that also has something to do with, you know, you know, an, an inability to accept that other people like different things. Like, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much the same thing, you know, with, you know, accepting, pe accepting people's opinions or something, like... Like, you know what I mean, like, people shouldn't be hated on, or, you know, bullied, or, or really talked down upon all because they like something that somebody else doesn't. Like, you know, we should be mature about it and say, if you like that, great. I like this, if you don't like that, eh, that's fine. I mean, it's not like, you know, you disliking it is going to put an end to it, so, yeah, it can work either way. So, yeah, I, I liked how this episode showed that once again, and, uh, you know, when I talked about, when I said this is not really the first time MLPs really discussed things related to, you know, opinions before, you know, just like in that, um, restaurant episode from season six, it was, a uh, Spice Up Your Life. Um, yeah, I, I really like the ending of that episode because, um, you know, Zesty Girl Mon went on to make that ridiculous statement, you know, this other pony, you know... Uh, tells Pony what what hats they should wear, and she's like, so I'm the one who, you know, makes it like, you know, everybody should eat what I think they should eat. And then Rarity obviously says, well, hey, I mean, I mean, you may have your opinion, but that does not give you any right to tell people what to think. People are allowed to like the things that you don't, even though you're a critic. And, and then Rarity, you know, makes an offer like, eh, but I, if you want, I mean, you might want to try the food. And she wants to stick by her opinion, but she learns that, you know, she can't force other people to do what she, what, to, like, do what her opinion demands. So she's just, oh, and then she just walks out. And again, I really like that because it's pretty much the same as how, you know, fanboys or people, you know, who try to talk down upon you. I mean, it, that was similar to, you know, a hater going, Okay, there's no way I can get a reaction out of you, so I'm leaving out the door. I like that because, you know, it was realistic in that way. Like, I felt that if Zesty Gourmand um, stayed and tried the food and like, ah, this is really good, you know, I really shouldn't force other people to, you know, like or dislike things. Like, because I found that, I would have found that to be overly predictable and a little unrealistic. But it, it felt more realistic for her to just leave and be like, okay, you do what you like. And I'll just stick by my own opinion. It felt more realistic and relatable. That's why I like that path better. That's why I like that the episode went that way better. But, uh, yeah, I mean... And again, this also touched upon, you know, opinions... As, th this also touched upon, you know, something to do with opinions in a good way as well. So, yeah, I really like that. And it's true, I mean... You know, when you make an opinion, you know, don't be too harsh about it. Like, don't... Don't express opinions, you know, at a point that's too critical that it, like, hurts somebody. Like, that's not what you want to do. I mean, you want to say what's on your mind. You want to say what you honestly think about something without, you know, hurting somebody's feelings or making it like that 
you're trying to get them to stop liking what they like. Because, you know, that's not what opinions should do. So yeah, I, I like this episode. Would I give it a 10 out of 10? I think I just might. Uh, well, maybe not really. I'm Like I said, it, it, may, it may not be a flaw to other people who watched it, but... I on, I honestly thought that the that the other parts with Pinky aside the beginning felt they felt like fillers to be honest because you know we need our occasional um uh Pinky comic comical relief character every now and then but didn't really felt like we needed those scenes I mean the guitar scene with Rarity letting it all out over heavy metal was a bit was a bit funny to watch but other than that it felt a little typical and it felt kind of a it felt like a filler. So that that would be really the only fly I have to point out about this episode, but other than that, I felt that the lesson was executed in a pretty good way, and, you know, episode just felt simple enough for that kind of moral, so... Eh, to be exact, to round it up completely, I think I'd give it just a 9 out of 10. Like, I know it's a little flaw, but... You know, I, I like looking at things from a critical way, so... Yeah, so I'd give this episode a 9 out of 10, and no, I, I don't hate it, I, I like it. Again, I, I really like the lesson, and I thought it was funny at times. Alright, so uh, that was my reaction to and review on uh, MLP Season 7, Episode 9, Honest Apple. Thank you all for joining me this afternoon, bro hoof, and have a wonderful day.